Hello everyone and thank you for joining me as we take a look ahead to some of the biggest events in the cryptocurrency world for tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 14th of March. The US House of Representatives Financial Services Committee has scheduled a hearing on digital currencies and initial coin offerings held by Capital Markets at 10am EST. Hearings entitled Examining the Cryptocurrencies and the ICO Markets. The committee released the following statement prior to the meeting. The hearing will examine the economic efficiencies and potential capital formation opportunities that cryptocurrencies and ICOs potentially offer to businesses and investors and review the adherence to applicable laws so investors receive the full protections afforded by federal security laws. Additionally, the hearing will consider the current regulatory approach that regulators such as securities and exchange commissions are using to monitor and oversee cryptocurrencies and ICOs, and how to achieve further regulatory clarity in these markets. Among the witnesses of the conference are Mr. Mike Lempris, Chief Legal and Risk Officer at Coinbase, and Mr. Peter Van Valkenburg, Director of Research at Coin Center. In just the last week, the Securities and Exchange Commission demanded that platforms supporting the trade of security tokens register with the agency or seek exemption, and New York Judge supported the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, which defined virtual currencies as commodities. The surging price of Monero has caught the attention of many cryptocurrency traders. Now the reason for such attention is a hard fork for Monero. The fork was due to take place on Wednesday the 14th of March, but attention traded as the fork has been postponed until the 30th of April due to the growing demand and increasing expectations from users. And attention airdrop fans out there, MOAR ION is in circulation. 6.25% of Aeon TRS tokens will be released. This event is also for people who have already taken part in the ION's token release schedule. If you haven't, there's a little bit more information for you. The ION network is a multi-tier blockchain system that will allow any private or public sector to send data between any ION and Ethereum blockchain, provide fast transactions, and this is where it gets interesting allows the creation of customized public or private blockchains, allowing publishers to choose governance. The reason why this may be worth noting is that approximately $1.29 million of ION was traded on Monday the 12th of March. At present, the price of ION is $2.30. According to the ICO drops, the return on the coin follow the ICO has seen a 2.31 time increase against the US dollar. And there is another ICO launching. Cobinhood has announced the launch of the Moxie One ICO. Cobinhood is a blockchain financial hub and the first zero trading free cryptocurrency exchange platform and ICO underwriter. Moxie One offers debit cards for token holders, allowing cryptocurrencies to be exchanged for daily transactions and ATM withdrawals instead of transferring money to other platforms. The cards issued will also work with Apple and Android Pay. Now this could be a really appealing concept to a lot of investors, as currently no other system exists and Moxie One aims to provide a seamless infrastructure for companies that trade with cryptocurrencies. To join the token sale, which is an Ethereum ERC20 token network, head over to the Moxie One website and take a look. Finally, Blockcat will be releasing their new smart contract solution problems. Now we all remember the hype around CryptoKitty, so is this something similar? Well, Blockcat allows anyone to create, manage and deploy smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. This contract with a live blockchain code both is fully functional and problem solving. Although the press announcement admits to being intentionally vague, it may leave investors presently surprised around the time of the smart contract release. A 2017 statement made by Blockcat stated that quarter two of 2018 smart contract would leave an integrated app with various prediction markets to allow users to make transactions based on the outcome of real world events. Blockcat is currently priced in at one US dollar and 46 cents. With a big promise of a new landing page, CEO interviews and continuous updates with additional features, this could leave room for an upward price swing. At present, Blockcat is traded on Cryptopia, Idea and Radar Relay. Well, there you have some of the biggest events for Wednesday. Let me know how you find these videos in the comments below as your feedback is really appreciated. Thank you and goodbye.